Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I'm a digital fantasy artist and today I'm going to tell you to not post shorts if you are a small art channel. I fell in the pit hole of shorts for I think three months now and I just found out that shorts are really bad for your channel performance and I just need to warn everyone why you should stop posting shorts right now. I joined in March and I knew it would take a long time for me to actually grow my channel as it does for everyone, but I looked at the shorts video format and the long format videos and I just thought, well, for me to get the best chance of performing well, I'm going to do both. So my original strategy was to post one long format video per week and a shorts every day, just like I do in my Instagram. I keep posting art when I'm done and then I post one reel every day. For me, this line of thought will just made sense because if you have two options of video formats, you should just do both because you're just going to grow faster, right? And I feel like it's a lot of art channels and small channels that don't really have any YouTube experience think the same thing and start making both. It took me what it felt like five years to actually make a good long format video, but since I already had lots of experience with TikTok and Instagram for shorts, I didn't take as long to learn how to make good shorts, and I started noticing that my shorts would get way more views than my long format video. And that didn't really make me sad, because I just thought that I had to get better at long format videos, and I actually get, got really excited that my shorts were gaining attention. Again, my goal here is to build a really good art community channel, and I was just really happy that people were noticing my art and wanting to share experiences with me, and especially as a small art channel, you get really happy whenever someone subscribes or comments, it just makes you more excited since you weren't really getting any traction at all in your channel. However, I didn't know that that would literally be my biggest downfall. But I was getting really, really excited about shorts, so I started looking for inspiration of other art channels, and I saw shorts as a positive thing because I see so many shorts in my feed, and I think they are so amazing, so pretty, and I just really wanted to make my own, so I started putting more time on making good shorts, and I actually had a short that reached 99k views, and that made me so happy and I actually got 300 subscribers only from this short and it, that really motivated me and I was just so happy and grateful for everyone who subscribed and I was just super motivated to keep making shorts and keep making the long format videos but I was just putting so much more energy on making really good shorts because I felt like they were paying off. I just felt like everything was going so well and that I had cracked the shorts code and I'm just, it's been only three months since I was doing YouTube so I was just so happy to finally see some sort of growth in my channel until I saw this one video, it's from Erin Lodge and the title is Do not pull shorts if you want to grow and get monetized fast on YouTube. Getting monetized is really long-term goal and not really something I'm focusing on right now but that video title scared me so much because I was like why wouldn't someone tell me to pull shorts like it was the first time I saw some sort of negativity around shorts so I just had to click and honestly Erin is such a perfect person she was amazing at explaining why She's just such a great YouTube strategist and I'm going to link her channel below so you can check this video. But I watched this video and I was mind blown. I was like, oh my god, shorts can actually ruin your channel, especially as an art channel, because posting speed paints, it needs a long format audience and not a short format audience and i was just devastated that all my efforts were actually for nothing i actually resisted a bit upon watching her youtube video because i was like even though she might be right i still really like the 
val not validation and the traction that I was getting from my shorts. So I thought that maybe it was worth it to get the audience that I was gaining from shorts and not stop posting shorts entirely. But I kept use making my shorts, I kept updating my shorts feed, and every single time I would edit a short, her video would come back to my mind, and I was like, why am I posting shorts if it can literally ruin my whole content strategy? I feel like it was at the time that I posted a long format video I spent hours working on and it got only 12 views. I don't really get a lot of views on my long format videos, but I usually get more than 12. So I was really devastated and everything that she talked in that video started to make sense for me. How shorts were just kind of like a fool's way of getting instant validation on YouTube and making us forget that YouTube is actually a long journey and it takes a while to build a good and really caring community. But I was still not convinced completely on her video, so I went and made my own research on why shorts can harm your account and honestly, they can literally do more harm than good. If your goal is to grow a close-knitted loving community on YouTube, then shorts will absolutely harm that. To explain this more in depth, basically there are different types of audiences. Shorts audiences are more likely to like just want entertainment and long format audiences really want to learn and be able to take away something from the video and it is an audience that is more conscious of their choices instead of just swiping away to finding content you didn't even choose. And shorts, I, I don't want to bash anyone who watch, watches shorts like I watch shorts. And just think of when you're watching TikTok, like you are in a relaxed state of mind. You just want to laugh a little bit. You aren't really like trying to answer any question. And sometimes you barely even remember which short you even watched from which creator. So shorts audiences, they don't, they don't really want to connect with you. They don't really remember who you are and they just kind of want a six second good video and that that was when i would literally realize that my subscribers might not be the audience that i want for my content as a shorts watcher i'm not bashing anyone once again i feel like it's just a different type of audience but as a long format audience myself I, when I click on a long format video, I actually take the time to connect with the creator and get to know them and actually learn from them. So when I choose to subscribe, it's because I really, really like you. And this is when I realized that people that are watching shorts, they might not actually want to learn from you. And my goal is to create a close community and eventually of course get monetized here maybe but i just really want to be able to have friends and be able to connect and learn from people and let people learn from me especially as an art art channel account and it wasn't soon after that i realized that making both long format videos and short videos will actually ruin your account as well because basically when you create a long format video the youtube algorithm pushes it first to your subscribers and afterwards to new people and they kind of want to test your video with your subscribers because if your subs like your video they're going to push it more but if most of your subscribers are short audience and they have a really short attention spam and they might click on your video then click off or they might not watch your long format video at all youtube is going to understand that your long form video is bad and it's not going to push it for anyone else anymore so basically you really need to understand that your subscribers count don't even matter if it's not an audience that actually cares about you and wants to watch your videos so just making lots of shorts and getting subscribers that only like to watch really fast content it's actually going to destroy your art channel unfortunately i watched lots of sh short criticizing videos 
on my research and something else that I got is that normally the age of people who watch shorts are younger generations and actually if you get monetized this audience is actually worth less for your channel than older audiences and audiences who just really want to learn something from you so it isn't really an audience that you would want to have if you want to create a close community of people who actually care about one another. I want to teach others art and learn with others through studying together and sharing experiences. And I'm not disowning my short audience. I love you guys and I was just so happy when everyone chose to subscribe. And I hope you stay for my channel now that I'm only making long format videos. But the community I hope to build is a long format audience and the videos I love to make are long format. And I just want the people to want to learn more about me and I want them to learn from what I can offer and that I can learn with them. And I just want people who care about me as a creator and want to see my art. I don't want people who just want to laugh for two seconds and then completely forget about my existence. And again, if you're a shorts account and you're happy with it, then it's fine. Keep doing your shorts content. I love to watch shorts content. But even if it's easier to get more views, I just ask you to please stop being that need of validation blind you stop letting the need of validation blind you from what really matters that is creating a closed community and the monetization on shorts it takes 10 million views which is a lot and even if you create an account that has really successful shorts you won't ever earn as much as the as having the same amount of views on long form content so it really depends on your goals and your motivations and what makes you happier. But I just don't see short working for me, especially as an art channel, because I just want people to want to see my art and learn from me. So shorts really just don't work for me. So now I have successfully stopped posting shorts entirely. And maybe afterwards, if I manage to grow this channel, I will post some shorts. I have seen some solutions for shorts. If you make exactly the same type of video you have on your long format videos as a short, people might click on your long format videos. But overall, I haven't seen really good solutions for shorts. And I was just really scared of them just ruining the long format videos for me. So that's basically my conclusion. And I just wanted to warn people that felt like shorts could actually be worse than better for them. And that's it, you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Again, I'm not bashing my shorts audience. I would love if you guys stayed. And I'm not bashing any accounts that choose to make shorts. I had so much fun editing and posting my shorts. But I just really love long format videos. And that is where I want to go with, with this account. I love to make speed paints, make study with me videos, make art commentary videos. So if you like that, please give a like with this video and subscribe. And I will be posting some more YouTube strategies. I am three months in, in this YouTube journey. And I have just learned so much, so stay tuned. And the art for this video was Fairy from Akota. And this would be a $160 valued commission. If you're interested in commission me, my commissions are open. And that is it. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.